Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video and this is going to be my spoiler review of uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake. So, yeah, got this about, what, three weeks ago I think it is now? And uh, yeah, I've beat it twice. So yeah, I thought it would be about time to uh, give my opinion on this game. Uh, does it live up to the hype or is it a little bit of a disappointment? Uh, I guess we'll find out. Because uh, yeah, so many people were calling this a masterpiece. I was looking forward to playing this game for so damn long. Uh, the game on the PS2 is my favourite game for the PS2. I just freaking love that game so much. Uh, I've beat it like well over like 12 times probably. Um, <laughs> probably like 10 times, to, maybe even 12 times on the PS2 and a couple of times on the PS4. So yeah, I've, I've, I absolutely love that game. I absolutely adore that game. It's pretty much a masterpiece. Um, so yeah, looking forward to playing this. Um, I went into it with the intention of playing it on normal or standard mode. Um, but yeah, the menu threw me off. It said standard mode for people that haven't played the original. I think it said that. So I was kind of like, what? That's not me. So yeah, I looked at hard, hardcore. Um, yeah, and it said for those that are familiar with the original. So I went with hardcore. Um, <laughs> probably not the greatest idea because it was bloody tough. Like, let me tell you. But like, even the original was tough at the beginning as well. So yeah, put it on hardcore. Uh, to be honest, I, I'm kind of glad I did because it was a good challenge. Like, it wasn't like over the top, like difficult. Like I'm sure professional will be, which I don't really plan on playing on professional. It's it, hardcore was hard enough, uh, in my opinion. So yeah, but the first part of the game, trying to get through the village was an absolute nightmare again. Even the original game, uh, the village is always like tough to start off with because there's just so many enemies. There's a chainsaw guy. He takes more bullets than this, I think, than the original game. I think. It just seems more of a threat, <laughs> you know, and again, just more enemies, like, overall. Um, so, yeah, like, what I love about the game is the way the game looks. The game is just absolutely beautiful, great environments, the enemies look cool, uh, characters look good. Um, gameplay is fun, like, the gameplay is a hell of a lot of fun. Um, it did change some enemies, which I'm not really sure why. Like, they added, like, a few extra enemies, which, yeah, was alright, I guess. But it's like some enemy types that seem to change, which is a bit weird. But but yeah, overall, amazing looking game and a lot of game, you know, a lot of fun with the gameplay. Uh, the whole crafting thing was a little bit annoying to me. Like you have to craft like ammo because the original game you just pick up ammo and use it, and this you have to like pick, you pick up you pick up ammo, but you pick up like gunpowder. So you have to like craft the gunpowder and stuff. And a lot of times you're doing that mid fight, and it's it's a little bit annoying. I'd rather just stuck to like picking up ammo. Like keeps the flow of the game going, um, which is always quite important for like a heavy pace action game like this. So I think for me that's what the kind of thing with this game is. It is over the top action like the original game. I feel like at the beginning they tried to go for the horror vibe because it was quite you know dark and creepy at the beginning and stuff, like the village. But I, I just feel like as the game went on, it just got more and more action packed. I think they kind of like threw away like the horror aspect. Uh, at least for me, it just didn't feel. Like a survival, like a horror game, it's felt more like a, a horror action game to me. But and I like how you can like switch between your guns, because uh, the original game you used to like pause your game, and, like select your you know different guns, which again can like ruin the flow of the game, like during like a you know big battle. And this you can just like assign your guns to like your directional pad, so you can just like click up twice to you know equip a shotgun or up once to you know select your handgun. So I like that. Again, keeps the flow going. Um, so yeah, real, real good. Uh, boss fights for me, uh, I like the the first fight, the Del Lago, the you know the, the mutated whale. That was a really cool fight. Uh, my opinion, improvement over the original. The original was just quite annoying. How you're in the boat and if you like get you know if you like run into like a a log or something, you'd go flying off the boat and to like swim back. It was it looked really cheesy and stuff. It was, it was quite funny, but yeah, I'm glad they kind of got rid of that. You just like your boat takes damage, so you. Just, you just kind of like feel the impact and just keep going. You don't fall off the boat. At least I never fell off the boat. I don't know if it's possible, but yeah, I never actually died to that boss. The boss was like fairly simple, um, fun, but uh, yeah, fairly, uh, fairly simple. Uh, the, the chief guy, Chief Mendez, and uh, the big cheese of the village. Eh, I'm not sure about him in this game. Like. He looks cool, I don't know why they gave him a hat, like a lot of people are saying, like why they gave him a hat, he, like, he's, he's not Mr X from Resident Evil 2, Mr X looks way cooler in my opinion, he's, he's way more 
you know, intimidating looking and cheap in my opinion. Just a cool looking design. Uh, Mr. X, especially the way he like, walks towards you like very fast, like really bloody creepy in the, in the remake. Um, but yeah, he just, I don't know, like when he had his hat off he looked a little bit better. I was like, I just don't know why they gave him a hat. His boss fight was, it was okay. It was like a party get chased uh, before the fight, which was something new. It was, yeah, was alright. It wasn't amazing. <laughs> it was kind of annoying, especially in hardcore because there was like, so many enemies and he kept like catching up to me. But you can't kill him at that point. Uh, and then you get to the fight room in, like, in the barn, which, yeah, it was okay, like, I think it was alright, like, fairly similar to the original, maybe preferred the original, like, slightly, uh, this boss fight. Uh, his first form simple enough, his second form is a little bit annoying in this, we, like, start throwing things at you. Uh, it was a little bit annoying trying to dodge all that crap. Um, so yeah, it was okay, but I do prefer the original boss fight. Uh, next boss fight, I guess, was uh, Salazar's, like, right-hand man. Um, yeah, probably an improvement. I think his fight was more like enjoyable in this game. Um, okay, it's not an amazing fight, <laughs> you know. So yeah, it was okay. Like whatever Del, I can't remember his name. But um, I want to say Del Fuego or something. Don't like that. Salazar's right hand man. That's what he's known as. Um, he, again, fight was okay. Um, Probably slight improvement over the original. Uh, the fight with Salazar himself. Oh my god, I hated it. I hated it so much. I hated it on normal. I hated it on hardcore, and I hated it on normal as well. I don't know. This it sprays acid like all over the place, and it's just really annoying. <clears throat> um, so yeah, he was for me. He was the hardest boss in the entire game. I really, really struggled with Salazar. So um, yeah, but I did like the dialogue during the fight. It just calls you a meddlesome like swear word <laughs> yeah he just calls you a bunch of a whole bunch of names and things which is really really funny i like that part of it just the fight itself is just really really annoying so uh, yeah i didn't like that at all uh the fight with krauser was pretty good um i did like the fight with krauser it did kind of drag on a little bit up to that point but um you have to like follow him like you have to like knife battle him like beforehand and stuff and you have to like follow him and he's got like traps and things again quite similar to the original uh, and then yeah, like I say, fight Krauser. Um, to be honest, guys, probably one of the easier fights. Like I, I've, I've heard a lot of people say Krauser was a nightmare. I, I didn't actually find Krauser that not like that tough. I died like maybe like three or four times. Uh, with as like Salazar, I died like I don't know. I was on Salazar for like forty minutes. So I must have died about twelve times or something. So uh, yes, Krauser was cool. It was, it was a cool fight uh, overall. And uh, yeah, I guess the final fight with um, Sa uh, Lord Sadler, which I think it was a good fight. Uh, I'll get to his character like in a minute. But as for the fight, I thought it was cool. Again, the music was absolutely epic for the final for the final fight. I didn't like how he had all these like bugs coming after you. Again, that's just so you can like get ammo in case you run out of ammo. I guess because if you run out of ammo, you'd be screwed. So that's kind of like their way of like you know dropping ammo for you. So I get why they did that. It was just a little bit annoying having to like fight loads of bugs as well as you know Lord Sadler. But yeah, cool fight. Um, I might actually drop that because I might get a little bit tired of holding that up. So yeah, overall I think the fights were pretty good. Um, I'll give it that. As for characters, Leon's cool. Like Leon's like, always cool. I don't think I've ever played a Resident Evil game where I didn't like Leon. Just Leon's Leon. Leon's like my favourite like male character in Resident Evil. So yeah. Can't really go uh, wrong with Leon. Uh, Lewis, I think Lewis was okay in this game. Like I did feel like they gave him a little bit more air time. Um, screen time, air time. Uh, even get a little section where you go through the mines uh, with Lewis and you go like you ride the mine cart together, which is really, really funny. And even fight the two like El Gigantes, which I thought was really, really good. Cause I didn't really like that part in the original game, fighting the two El Gigantes on your own. So yeah, Lewis helps you out. He even gets like a dynamite and like straps it on the back of like the armor of the El Gigante. So yeah, Lewis was cool. Like, I liked Lewis. Lewis was he was full of himself. He was cocky, but I really liked Lewis. Lewis was great. So I'd probably say overall it was probably an improvement uh, over the original game. And probably like the way he died was probably better for me. I just feel like it was more impactful. I guess I don't know. I still think his death in the original game was good as well. Um, next Ada. 
People were not wrong. Ada is terrible. <laughs> she's just lost like the whole like seductive kind of aspect because she's always quite mysterious, quite seductive towards Leon, and this is just I don't know. She's really boring. She's just not like Ada. I mean, I'm not like the I'm not like a massive Ada fan. I prefer like Jill and Claire and you know people like that, but. Like Sheva from Resident Evil 5, I prefer those characters over Ada. Ada's just, for me, always just there, but I do get the appeal of Ada, but in this game she's horrible. She's Her voice actress just sounds bored. But it's not her fault, it's, it's Capcom. Capcom decided to use her voice, so... Yeah, <laughs> that's what we've got. It's very boring. Um, so yeah, I didn't like Ada, I thought Ada was terrible uh, in this game. Uh, the chief guy, Chief Mendez, the voice actor, he was okay. Like, He's not got a big role. He's just like the first boss of the game, so he didn't really need like a big role. Salazar, uh, like I definitely prefer Salazar in the first game. I think Salazar in the first game is more like childish and things. He's quite petty and stuff. So what in the you know kill Leon? I always love the the dialogue back and forward and like on the, the radio between Leon and like Salazar. Um, yeah, it just just didn't have it. it. Just I don't know. It just didn't have that same like impact for me. So I didn't like that. Uh, Ashley, I liked Ashley. Ashley was very likable in the game. She was cute. She had a little bit more to do, like the part where you know you're Leon and you're fighting like the the suits of armor, and then Ashley just starts like throwing lanterns down to like help Leon. I think that was really really cool. I loved that section, um, and that dialogue with Leon. Good night, knights. <laughs> it was quite cheesy, but it was quite funny. So yeah, they give Ashley a little bit to do. I like the, the section where you play as Ashley was quite good, the dungeon, uh, the suits of armor. And poor Ashley was just getting absolutely traumatized by these suits of armor. How she she hates suits of armor now, which was quite funny because she it was like a little bit at the beginning where she was like saying, like, "Oh, you're look quite dashing in a suit of armor," and then as the game goes on, you face like armored enemies, and then she just absolutely hates armor. So that was that was quite funny. I like that. Um, Oh, and that was quite amusing. So yeah, I liked Ashley. Ashley was great. Um, don't have a problem with Ashley at all. I like to give her a little bit more to do. Uh, Krauser, he was okay. Like I do prefer Krauser in the original game. I think his voice sounded a little bit more intimidating. Uh, and this, it doesn't really just didn't sound as intimidating like his voice. Um, kept talking about power. Um, I know in the original games it witnessed the power. And he does say that in this game, but it doesn't sound quite as cheesy and as as like as funny. But he does talk about power a lot. It kind of reminds me of Virgil from like Devil May Cry 3. I was on about, I need more power. And all he needed was Krauser to go, die, scum, scum, die, during the fight. And he'd just be like Virgil. Um, which that's the, the vibes that I got. Maybe it's the same voice actor. I don't know. But he did sound quite similar, talking about power all the time. But it crows was okay. It, it grew me a little bit. And I guess that leaves us to Lord Sadler, the main enemy of the game. <laughs> wow. They really just they didn't add anything to this guy. Like, you know, being this whole like cult leader of the you know, the Oslo Manados and insignias and things and he just didn't really have a lot to do. Like Hard River showed up. At least in the like the original game. He'd be like talking to Leon like over the mic and you know taunting Leon and stuff, you know. <laughs> and yeah, he just didn't really like have anything to do. Like apart from like near the end, he's got a couple like cutscenes things. He was very like very toned down. Like I wanted more between him and Leon. Like the banter between the two of them was very good in the original game. But yeah, it was toned down in this game. So yeah, didn't like that. Screw you for not giving Sadler enough to do. You know, he's the main enemy, you should be giving him, like, a hell of a lot to do. That's, like, the point of a remake. That's why you don't remake, remaster, like, pretty much masterpieces of games, because you've got to add a lot to them or it fails. So, yeah, Sadler was a big fail in this game. He just didn't, he just didn't, didn't do anything. Didn't do a lot. I <laughs> think he did more than the original game. Um, I think there's a character I miss. Yeah, Mike in the helicopter. He was, he was fine. Again, he, he didn't really have a lot to do in the, in the original game either, but... Yeah, I prefer him like the original game was like, ah, got them scumbags. <laughs> or whatever he says. Um, but yeah, 
Um, overall, most of the characters probably did have more to do, but I think they could have added more. So, yeah, I think that's really it for that. Um, what more do I need to add? Uh, the regenerators were annoying in this game. Like In the original game, they were quite creepy. I would like, sh kind of like shuffle along and make those like, weird, creepy breathing noises. In this, they were like a lot faster, but they were annoying. Like, they were really bloody annoying. I hated fighting them in this game. They weren't creepy, they were annoying. Which was kind of the point in the original game. They were supposed to be slow and creepy and not too difficult to take out, but their, their, just, their presence were, was quite, intim like, quite intimidating. And this was just quite annoying, just shuffling along really fast and they were really hard to kill, <laughs> in my opinion. So yeah, I wasn't really a big fan of them. Uh, like, the like, different, like, enemy changes. They gave, like, some things, like, boar, like, heads. Like, the big, like, the guy with the Gatling gun in the original game, was it JJ? Um, very cool looking design with the Gatling gun. And this kind of gave him, like, a pig's head or a boar's head. More like a minotaur or something. <laughs> it was really weird. There's like some minotaurs or something like that, like during the game instead of like the other enemies. Um, like the big enemies with the hammers were replaced with like the minotaur, like head guys. Eh, I'm not really sure about that. Could have probably done without that, in my opinion. Um, yeah, is there anything else? Well, I forgot to mention the merchant. The merchant was fine. Again, I prefer him in the original game, but he was the merchant was okay in this as well. Um, yeah, overall, I do think it was a it was a good game. Like it wasn't like tremendous. It wasn't a masterpiece. Like I'm kind of like stuck between a seven or an eight or an eight. Um, I don't know. I could easily like sink like three or four hours in this game without getting bored. So maybe I'm gonna give it an eight. Like the more I think about it, I did really enjoy it. So I'm gonna give it an eight. But to be honest, guys, I've got to say it might be my least favorite uh, Resident Evil remaster. Uh, which might get me a little bit of hate. Well, not for this. I, I know like a lot of people like really dig this game, and it's my favorite game uh, on the PS4. I would say Resident Evil 2 Remastered. This added more to the characters. It gave like Sherry a lot more like likability. Like her, like Sherry and Claire were a lot. You know, had a lot more like dialogue in this game. It was really touching, and they gave more to like Annette, and I guess a little bit more to Ada and. Um, like the, the chief guy, Chief Irons, he was an absolute douchebag in this game, but that was the point. So they did a good job with that. Even like the Resident Evil 3 remake, they added more to Carlos. And they made like Nikolai like an am amazing villain. I freaking love Nikolai in this game. Uh, Jill was a badass, so added more to that. In the Resident Evil 1 remake, um, they added more, they gave Barry a little bit more to do. They added the new enemy, like Lisa Trevor, who was very, very interesting. I really liked Lisa the Monster. Uh, her backstory is pretty damn tragic. So, um, there's that. So, yeah, I do prefer like, these remasters. Not not Resident Evil Zero, that can, well, that's quite average in my opinion, but Resident Evil 1, uh, 2, and 3. I love these games, I would say, more than Resident Evil 4 Remake. Uh, especially Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake. I love these games to death. These are just, for me, there's more fun to play. Overall, I just had a better experience with these games, but I still really like Resident Evil 4. I think it was a great game. Um, yeah, just don't think I'll play through it again anytime soon. I need a break from this game. I don't fancy playing it professional. I just, I've given up the idea of getting a platinum trophy. I just don't fancy like playing through this game like, over and over and over again. Uh, even though I did enjoy it, I just don't have the urge to go back and keep playing it like what I did with Resident Evil 2 and 3. And like Resident Evil 1 Remake. So yeah, I think that's really it. I don't really think I've got really much else to add. Uh, to be honest, I'm guess if, I know what will happen. Like I'll pause the camera and then something will be, something will jump out of me. Uh, obviously, the cut content like the mercenaries. I know there's mercenaries in now, but that was like patched in. I've not tried it. No, I've never been that into like mercenaries mode and like the Ada like separate ways and the same Ada. I wasn't like I like separate ways in the original game, but I'm not that fussy about them. Like leaving it out personally, but because I always just played the original game. This is still superior, in my opinion, like in almost every way. I just think this game's more fun to play. And if a game's more fun to play, that makes it a better game for me. So, uh, anyway, guys, yeah, I think that's it. Um, if anyone's got any questions, yeah, leave it in the comments below. Um, in case I've missed anything out and anything you want to like, make it like touch up when I can like leave it in the comments. 
Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of Resident Evil 4 Remake. Um, what would you rate it out of 10? I think, like I, say, I think I'm going to give it an 8. Because I did still really enjoy the game, even though I still wanted more. Like, again, it's just because Resident Evil 4 and Remake, the, the original was just so good. I just wanted more. I'm just, I'm greedy like that. But, um, yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, I will catch you all in the next video. See you guys. Thanks for watching.